the morning routine. I thought I'd tell you a little bit about the routine that I've gotten into over the last like a couple of years to be honest, but I think the last few months have been the most transformative. And then the last three weeks, I've gotten into the gym every day. It's been pretty nuts and honestly amazing. And I'm really, really grateful that I've been doing it. So I just thought I'd walk you through what every morning looks like for me right now, because basically every day looks pretty much the same and I love it. And I never thought I would. Honestly, I've, I've been a night owl my whole life and now I'm suddenly kind of a morning person and I just wanna live in my morning routine and I think you're about to see why. So before we jump into that, I just wanted to highlight the pairs of my pocket tees, three days left. This is coming out on the 17th. The last day to get these is March 20th. And once that's over, it's over. Like, I don't even know if we're ever gonna do these again, but you're running out of time. It's almost over. So if you'd like to jump in on this, grab yours while the grabbing is good. My morning routine counterintuitively actually begins the night before. When I'm going to bed, I have a pretty standard nighttime ritual now where like the way that I slow down, I wind down, shower, I do shower at night, go to bed. Like it's all been pretty ritualized for a long time now. The habits that I've added into it to help my morning routine get easier. One, I lay my gym clothes out the night before. So they're just on Cooper's kennel when I get up in the morning, right there, makes it really easy. Cause I find that when I get up in the morning, the temptation to go back to bed is augmented by the fact that I can't find any socks. I'm like, I want to walk around without socks and I'm going back to bed. So instead of doing that, I lay everything out nice and easy to get because I don't want to turn on the lights. I don't want to wake the dog up. And once I put my socks on, once I get dressed, I'm like, I'm out the door. Like there's no way I'm not, I'm going back to bed once I'm dressed. The other way that I make sure to get myself out of bed is I've stopped charging my phone upstairs. I have a phone charger upstairs in my bed right above me here. And that's where I used to keep my phone was right next to me listen to music, read a little bit maybe, go to sleep. Not the best. And honestly, once I started charging it down here, I have this absurdly long USB-C cable. I plug it in down here, leave it on the couch. And then when the alarm goes off, I have to get out of bed, come all the way downstairs to turn it off. And by then, obviously the odds are in my favor. The other thing that I do every morning is I make sure to chug the rest of my water. I forget where I read this, but somebody said something about taking an inner shower in the morning to wake up. And I found that to be very true. If you hydrate right away, like I, most of this is usually full. Chug it and it's pretty refreshing. I won't say that it like jolts you awake, but levels you up significantly. In the past, I used to get the dog up, take him out to go to the bathroom and then bring him back in because I used to get up later, like closer to eight in the morning. Now I'm getting up closer to 6.30 in the morning. So I don't worry about taking the dog up because he's sleeping and I don't want to bother him. So I sneak out, eat a banana, put on my shoes, head out and run to the gym. The run to the gym takes me about five minutes, which is perfect for a warm up run. And then I'm in and then I now lift every day. I'm on a rotation where I do upper body one day, core the next day, and then legs the third day. That gives each muscle group effectively at least a day to recover. And then I run another about 4K afterwards. So I get a 5K run in every day, except leg day, I only do one mile because I feel like my legs are probably doing enough. The whole goal of going in every day right now is just to see like, can I do it? How does it make me feel? And the answers are yes and fantastic. I've always had these limiting beliefs about getting to the gym, about how much I could work out, about how much recovery time I needed. Then it turns out I don't need much more than a good night's sleep, better nutrition, and just to give the muscle groups their day off. And then everything seems to work out just great. I've been pretty freaking happy with it so far. Once I'm done with my run, then it depends on how early I get back. This whole thing from like 6.30, I, if I get up at 6.30, I make it to the gym by about 6.45. If I end up sleeping in a little bit and, and get up at 6.45, I get there about seven. So I'm home by like eight or 8.30. If I'm back a little bit later, like 8.30, then I tend to get the dog out oh, then. Oh, hello. Hello. It's gross. <laughs> Take him out to do his business. He's very happy. And then I do a little bit of a cool down. I'll stretch a little bit, shower, shave. One of the other things that I've started doing, because I've never moisturized my face. So the way that I'm getting myself into it is I've set up kind of the habit stacking. If you've read Atomic Habits, the habit stack that I have for that is when I put on deodorant. Never thought you were gonna see me put deodorant on, did you? Then I moisturize my face. Two different women in my life both gave me facial moisturizers for Christmas at the same time, a year ago, over a year ago. Kind of felt like maybe they were trying to send me a message. I still didn't start using it right away though. So whenever I end up putting on deodorant, I put the face moisturizer right next to it so that I see it, I grab it, just put a little bit on my face. There we go. Just a little thing, right? You're just adding to the routine, but it helps. I also only used to brush my teeth at night. I never really brushed in the morning. So I've also added, okay, I give myself a little brush in the morning as well. 
be nice and fresh on my way to the gym, and in this case today, when I got back. Once I am dressed and clean and ready to go, if I haven't gotten the dog out yet, I will. If I have, then I take him upstairs. The reason that I take him upstairs now to feed him and train him is because my dad built a coffee station up there, which is very nice of him. Over the course of a few visits, he added like a kettle and then a grinder. It's made it much easier than me taking all my coffee supplies upstairs to host him. Now we have uh, some coffee supplies downstairs and some coffee supplies upstairs. And with it, I've added a Nutribullet because I need to be getting a lot more protein in my system. It's so good. Mm. So basically with the spinach, berries, yogurt, protein, getting all sorts of deliciousness in it. There's a little bit of sugar obviously in the yogurt, but it's cheap and there's more protein in it by weight than some of the more expensive stuff in my store. Small steps, right? Like I'll upgrade the yogurt eventually, but with about 100 grams of protein powder and the yogurt, I'm getting closer to about 80 grams of protein in each shake. And the goal is to take two a day. It's a lot, but I need it. I made a commitment to make sure I was getting enough protein months ago, like I think maybe even a year ago now that I've been regularly making sure to add whey protein to my diet and it's made a huge difference. And now that I'm working out every day, making sure that I get a full amount of protein every day is vital. And if you go and you look, just look up a government like protein calculator for your nutrition, it's insane how much protein you need. I basically need the equivalent of something like 25 eggs a day. There's no way I'm gonna get there. So the protein is, is vital. I've also started taking creatine again. I took it a little bit back when I started lifting like two or three years ago, just to get things started. And it's a controversial subject. Either it's a placebo or it works. You can look it up on your own. I've decided that it's, wor I mean, even if it's a placebo, if it works, great. If it enhances performance, makes me look better, feel better, recover faster, whatever, why not? It's not expensive. Let's just add a little bit of that to the diet every day. Once I've made my shake and my coffee, the dog is waiting at this point. Part of Cooper's training is that he waits for his food for a solid 30 minutes uh, every morning, which is why he's such a good, patient little boy. It's one of the things. Also, there's boiling water behind me. Hold on, I forgot that I was making pasta. Anyway, I make sure to just do a review of all Cooper's main commands, do some like come and stay and all that kind of stuff roll over. It started out making him wait for a few minutes and then I just kind of kept increasing it and then we got to about 30 minutes and I was like, well, I mean, we're training every day, might as well have him do that. It gives him something to focus on while I'm making my stuff. And then I make sure to read every morning, hopefully for at least 20 minutes, but I mean, it's really hard to stop reading because obviously once I've sat down with my coffee, I'm just relaxed and my book is so good. I just want to sit and read forever. Um, and then the other thing is practice my piano. You might notice that I also then get to read and practice my piano upstairs. That's also thanks to the generosity of my landlady who has given me access to her apartment where I'm able to use the balcony a little bit to see the horizon. Uh, reading in the sunlight is very nice. And then obviously I don't have a lot of space down here for a piano and she is an amazing piano player. When she called me for my birthday and asked me what I wanted, I told her that I wanted to learn how to play piano and what I asked was if I could put a piano up in her apartment because you know, I don't have a lot of space down here. I could make it work down here, I would have made it work. But she was generous enough, not only to let me put my piano up there so I can practice, but also she pitched in a little bit. And the birthday card she sent me had like my first piano lesson in it, which was really sweet and I kept it. I have it upstairs just to remind me of her tips and tricks. And so thank you Kiki if you ever see this, but uh, it's amazing. So by the end of my like morning routine, basically I've gotten up, hydrated, worked out, shaved, showered, fed, trained the dog, gotten the nutrition I need, moisturized my face, gotten my reading done for the day, managed to practice a little bit of piano, and then I've probably also, like when I'm at the gym and in between, I tend to get up on Slack and Discord and like some Instagram messages, whatever else. So I already feel like I've gotten a real start to the day. And when I'm done with all of this by like 9.30 or 10, it feels amazing. Like it's a genuine sense of accomplishment to start the day. Obviously I can't do this every, every day. Like there are days where I have to get out and go film early in the morning somewhere, or I need, have a meeting that I need to get to, whatever. But for the most part, like I've really actively tried to protect this because I'm learning piano much more quickly as a result. The physical gains uh, show for themselves, like I'm stronger and faster than I've ever been. I have a ton of energy, mental clarity is good. The only real downs, I just need to eat more in the morning. Uh, I, I will grab some peanuts like to hold me over until lunch, but I'm realizing I need to add something else in there. It's good to get like everything else that I've got going this and I generally feel really, really good with what I have in the morning, but I need a little bit more energy. Otherwise, there's not a whole lot more that I feel like I need to add to the routine. Like 
it's pretty solid. And then it really encourages me to get home and get to bed in the evening, make sure I get a good night's sleep, which has encouraged me to drink a little bit less, which is also, I mean, it's easier to drink a little bit less if you're not staying out that late. You see how like there's just all these really positive knock on effects. I'm not a slave to it. If I need to break it, I will when I'm traveling. I know it'll be a challenge, but I want to also make the effort to continue to work out every day to continue to get a good night's sleep. And I've got to figure out how to make sure I keep getting enough protein, good nutrition. I'll keep adding a little bit here and there. Like my diet is steadily getting better and it'll only get better from here. It's uh, actually a fairly rare occurrence we get to the dog park. Like once a week, I do try to make it here. I was, when he was a puppy, we came all the time, but life is too crazy right now. And to be honest, he gets enough exercise throughout the day anyways, because I'm generally very active and I end up spending like all day out and about with him. He gets plenty of exercise when we're out. So it's not like he's lacking for activity and he spends most of his time with me, but it's still really nice to get him out to the park, play with other dogs, run a lot. And on days like this, when I'm actually gonna go like see a movie with friends and I can't take him, I'd rather make sure we get to the park, spend some time running around, get some energy out before I leave him home for the afternoon. A, a, a tired dog is a happy dog. So there you go, that's the morning routine. I do need to, I did, I'm not kidding, I have water boiling behind me, so I, I need to make myself some lunch. And then we're gonna go see Dune, Cooper's not, but I've got a group of friends, we're gonna go see Dune for the second time. I'm really excited to, I'm really excited to see it again in IMAX this time. And then I'm meeting my friend Allison for dinner at the best pizza place in Paris, the only pizza place in Paris, and that's my Saturday, pretty crazy. I also did have to finish editing yesterday's vlog this morning because uh, I stayed out a little bit later than I intended. See, and I don't like doing that, so I'm gonna be careful not to do that too often. All right, I gotta, I, I actually, I really need to make this pasta now. Yeah, so the movie's tomorrow. Thankfully I figured that out before I made it all the way to La Villette, because it's a long ways away. But I guess it's time to do some grocery shopping at least, so hey, I feel much less rushed all of a sudden. Oh, okay, there's the prayer. I was like that. I don't know how much a bathtub even costs. Uh, instead of seeing a movie, we're now looking at bathtubs for Punem for the apartment. This feels kind of productive to me. What about the kitchen? What about the kitchen, Pushan? The kitchen's already decided to work. Delivered on Wednesday. I want to learn to cook. Sorry. That's not bad, actually. Do you want 60? Oh, wait, wait. Somebody else has to start along. Get Cooper out. Let's see. Yeah, come on. This might be the weirdest thing I've ever done. The kitchen's going to be gray on the bottom, white on the top with green uh, splashback. Backsplash? Splashback. Splash. 